Hello everyone, this is Daria from Kaya Academy and today I will show you how to weave your notifications tab on Twitter. As you know on Twitter, many users who want to receive notifications constantly or who want to see what they share do not know where to find them. So who is interacting with you, interacting with you on Twitter directly through at replies and mentions? It means tweets in response or generally mentioning individual users. Favorites, ways to positively acknowledge or bookmark tweets, and retweets that sharing content that has already been posted by another Twitter user. So, what are favorites? Favorites are like, let's, let me show you first. For example, there is this tweet as we can see right here. And when we click on this icon, you know what will happen? it's going to be added to our favorite list. So let's talk about it. And when you, when you add it to your favorite list or when you mark something as a favorite, you make it easier for yourself to find that tweet in feature. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Also, the favorite buttons also act as like Twitter version of a like button. You know, it's like, oh, I have liked this tweet, so let me favorite. So we also have this little thing we call fave. So, which may you know from set, this like button is mostly used on other social networks such as Facebook or LinkedIn. And here it is there as a favorite button. So, when we, for example, when we find, mm, okay, let's find something to favorite. Let's favorite this one. And when we go to our profile, and when we go to our likes here, as you can see, the tweet appears here. So I can find this tweet later very easily. So also there's this thing, retweets. You can forward the tweet that you're reading to your Twitter followers by clicking this, this continuous icon, as you can see here or here. So it's very easy. And your followers see that tweet as coming from the user who first posted. It's just going to be your name. Like it's going to have a note at the top of the tweet mentioning that retweet came from you. For example, I can show it like this. I can go to my profile. And as you can see, since this is me, it looks like you retweeted it. But let me find, a, as you can see, I am following Universal Curiosity, and they have retweeted this tweet by TechnoScience. I can see both the person who tweeted it and who retweeted it. So it is easy, and it is the information gets spread very easily. So when it comes at replies and mentions, the little arrow right that appears when you hover, like actually it's, it's like this right now. This is uh, when you're on the home screen, it's the force behind one of the two of like most powerful conversational features. Taking it from a, uh, like from a syntax used in a chat room or replies is a tweet that although public and visible to all Twitter users, is also directed specifically to a one Twitter user. For example, when I do this, that that I am actually tweeting. This person that uh, right here that who has tweeted that thing, right? This is what it means. So I do not want to do it right now. So I'm just clicking X to exit. So this is how it works. And Twitter also has ramped it by automatically detecting when an ad symbol is placed directly in front of a word and adds a link to the Twitter user who uses that word as his handle. So let's give a, a try the way we can do this. For example, I would like to send a tweet directly to my best friend. So what do I do? I put an ad and I put her name here and whoever is using this name, this username, is going to receive this and this is a tweet that everyone can see unless your uh, account is hidden. This is a, a tweet that everyone can see and but this is actually directed to the that person so we can write down anything then we're going to click tweet and it's going to be tweeted and when i yes no i do not want to say my tweet so i'm going to say this part so let's get to it 
And mo there are more than just ways to uh, direct to it to one person. Also, a replies can help you find new people to add to your network. When you see one of your contacts converse, conversing with someone you don't know and decide to check that person out. So here, I will try to find an example for that. Let's go. I guess I'm using too much of Twitter and I cannot find anyone. So it actually, hmm, it actually looks like this. So I'm use I'm following this person, but I do not know about this person, right? So what did they do is this person that I am following, as you can see right here, uh, has tweeted to that person. I do not that I do not know this person, but since the person that I have tweeted has uh, has this conversation with them, so I can just go to their profile, maybe go and see what they're up to, you know. So I will just I will just be like, okay, this person is nice, so I will have a chance to expand my network by doing this. I ha I can find more people to follow, as you can see here. And for every publicly viewable tweet that includes a user's handle, I mean username, the user view can weave those tweets in the replies link. Like, so anytime when someone is using at and username, appears in a tweet, it gets collected here. Some heavy users don't like this setup because it can clutter your class if you're mentioned a lot. For example, we can go, um, for example, Justin Bieber. I can't, there were, in that time, I'm talking about like three, four years, everyone was sending Justin Bieber tons of tweets every day using his username, like at Justin Bieber, OMG, I love you, you know, those kind of things. And he was receiving a lot of them. And it was his notification maybe was just full of those things, right? So that's what it means when uh, we say it can get cluttered fast, you know? Even though the screen is not technically considered uh, the notification tab, most Twitter users still call these sections like replies or mentions. But right now, we, can, we receive more than those things. As you can see, here is all and here is mentions. You can just find the mentions just has been that you have in mention or we can find like these kind of things as you can see recommended for us yes twitter gets new and new every other day so if you hover your cursor over a tweet that you want to respond to let's show it like this yeah and then uh there's a tweet menu bar appearing right and when we're clicking here as you can see right here this is actually, as you can see, we're not gonna, we're not using their username inside of our tweet. But if we, if we tweet this, they are still gonna receive this because we are actually replying to their tweet. And right now, I also don't want to do it. And actually, uh, when you tweet that, there will be a bottom right side of the field, right? And that is the button you'll need to click in order to publicly share your uh, reply. And if you reply, instead of composing an entirely new message, Twitter then associates your reply with the original tweet. And the person can see what tweet prompt you reply by clicking the details link at the bottom of your tweet to him. Just like this, I'm going to show you what it means. We're going to go to our profile. As you can see, we even have this tweets and replies. So, of course, our retweets. For example, people just saw this one on their timeline. But when when you can see this a little bit of link, when you go home, when you go up like this, you will see people who follow me will see that I have replied to this particular tweet. So, yeah, and let's get to the here some tips that on making most of your notifications tab. Let's get to there first. These are my notifications. So what you can do is you can send replies anytime. You can send a reply to someone by just typing the at symbol without a space in their username 
then we're going to type your message and we're going to click to it. And if you make your reply manually, your reply will, will not be linked to any particular tweet. It will just be directly to them, right? And this actually do initiate a conversation as much as they act as actual replies. So this is actually just like I showed you. As you can see, you can just put this. This might look like a reply actually, but it is not. It is not connected to another tweet. It is just a tweet by itself. So when I say something right here and then I tweet it, then that person is just receiving it. Or we can join a conversation. If you see that right here, I have showed you actually, it's right here, right? They have a conversation going on right here. What we can do is, uh, for example, I, I have some thoughts about this or there are things that I want to say about this. What we do is, we're doing this and when we write this and then we tweet at it, it, we're joining the conversation. It's actually very simple. So, by the way, keep that in mind that replies are actually public tweets and other people can always read your replies. So, when you think that you tweet something under a maybe actually not very comic video, but you think it was funny and you're just um, adding, sending it to your, you're just saying, yeah, ha 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 ha, or LOL, and you might think, that no one else is going to see it, but no, people who follow you, even though that you have replied to that tweet, will be able to see it in their timeline. So, and also, they will be sorted by search engines. So, let's get to the other topic, which is direct messages. Direct messages let you send your contacts private notes through Twitter. It's just you're messaging on Twitter with one user, and no one can actually see this. And... The only person who can see these messages is the person who sent the messages and the who received them. So the easiest way, like, and the other thing about this is that you only can send a DM to a Twitter user who is following you. You don't have to follow them, but yes, they have to be following you. And the reason for that, they just want to, you know, cut down the spamming or um, unwanted messages. That's the reason uh, why Twitter made it like and the easiest way to see if someone is following you, you know, maybe you want to send them a DM. For example, let's see, do this person follow me? I, what do I do? I went, let me show you again. I have, there is their profile icon and I'm clicking on that and it's just giving me the their profile picture, profile page. And actually, if they would be following me, it would say right here, Yes, following you, but of course they're not following you. And but here is a plus thing: so there are some pages or people that have opened their DMs for people who actually they are not following me, but they're still letting me send them to a, send them a DM, right? So this can be set up by privacy settings, but not everyone has it. And if that person is following you, the way for you to know this. We can find someone who actually is following me right here. Let's go to my profile. I will just find that person that has liked my tweet, which is here. As you can see, if that person is following me, it has this thing that saying follows you right next to their username. So I feel free to DM them because they're already following me. So I don't have to think about, oh, is that person following me? Can I send them a DM? All I have to do, all I got to do is just clicking this message button icon and I will be ready to send a DM to them. So this is actually all. And if you have any questions about this video, sending someone direct messages or anything that comes to your mind you can ask me on the comments down below and i will be there to apply your every i will be there to uh, reply your questions and if you have any suggestions or if you need to know about something that we haven't talked about yet just write them down and i will be there and i will write back to you asap so thank you for watching do not forget to give 
us thumbs up if you have liked the video. Take care and see you soon.